Hello and welcome to the Daily Vigil Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. Although we are reading Deuteronomy chapter 4 today, I feel that since we have moved into a new year, and I have been producing this program a lot longer than I first thought I would, I feel it is only right that we dedicate the readings for this year to prayer and ask for God's blessings upon it. Lord, I thank you for giving me this opportunity to read your word. I ask that you pour out your blessing upon those who have heard your word in 2013. I ask that you give me the willpower to continue to read your word in 2014. I hand full control the Daily Vigil Bible to you, Lord. May it serve you well throughout the year of 2014. Amen. O Israel, listen to the laws and practices which I teach you. To do them, that you may live and go in and possess the land which Yahweh, the God of your fathers, gives you. You shall not add to the word which I command you, neither shall you take away from it, that you may keep the commandments of Yahweh, your God, which I command you. Your eyes have seen what Yahweh did because of Baal Peor. For all the men who followed Baal Peor, Yahweh, your God, has destroyed them from among you. But you, who were faithful to Yahweh, your God, are all alive today. Know then that I have taught you laws and practices, even as Yahweh my God commanded me, that you should do so in the middle of the land where you go in to possess it. Keep them therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the peoples who shall hear all these laws and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. For what great nation is there that has a God so near to them? As Yahweh our God is whenever we call on him. What great nation is there? Has laws and practices as righteous as all these commandments which I set before you today. Only be careful and watch your actions closely. Least you forget the things which your eyes saw. And least they depart from your heart all the days of your life. But make them known to all who descend from you. The day that you stood before Yahweh your God in Horeb, when Yahweh said to me, Assemble the people to me, and I will make them hear my words, that they may learn to fear me all the days that they live on the earth, and that they may teach their children. You came near, and stood on the mountain. The mountain burned with fire, to the heart of the sky, with darkness, cloud and thick darkness. Yahweh spoke to you, at the middle of the fire, you heard the voice of words, but you saw no form. You only heard a voice. He declared to you his covenant, which he commanded you to perform, even the Ten Commandments. He wrote them on two stone tablets. He always commanded me at that time to teach you laws and practices, that you may do them in the land where you go over to possess it. Be very careful. For you saw no kind of form on the day that Yahweh spoke to you in Horeb, out of the middle of the fire. At least you corrupt yourselves, and make yourselves an engraved image in the form of any figure, the likeness of male or female, the likeness of any animal that is on the earth, the likeness of any winged bird that flies in the sky, the likeness of anything that creeps on the ground, the likeness of any fish that is in the water under the earth. And least you lift up your eyes to the sky, when you see the sun and the moon and the stars, even all the army of the sky, you are drawn away and worship them and serve them. You show where your God has allotted to all the peoples under the whole sky. But Yahweh has taken you and brought you out of the iron furnace, out of Egypt, to be to him a people of inheritance as it is today. Furthermore, Yahweh was angry with me for your sakes and swore that I should not go over to the Jordan, and that I should not go in to that good land which Yahweh your God gives you for an inheritance. But I must die in this land. I must not go over the Jordan. You shall go over and possess that good land. Be careful, lest you forget the covenant of Yahweh your God, which he made with you, and make yourselves an engraved image no form of anything that Yahweh your God has forbidden you. For Yahweh your God is a devouring fire, a jealous God.
when you shall have had many descendants, and you shall have been long in the land, and shall corrupt yourselves, make an engraved image in the form of anything, and shall do that which is evil in Yahweh your God's sight, to provoke him to anger, I call heaven and earth to witness against you today, that you will soon utterly perish from off the land which you go over the Jordan to possess it. You will not prolong your days on it, but will utterly be destroyed. Yahweh will scatter you among the peoples, and you will be left few in number among the nations, where Yahweh will lead your way. There you shall serve gods. The work of men's hands, wood and stone, which neither see, nor hear, nor eat, nor smell. But from there you shall seek Yahweh your God, and you shall find him. When you search after him, with all your heart, and with all your soul, when you are in oppression, and all these things have come on you, in the latter days you shall return to Yahweh your God, and listen to his voice. For Yahweh your God is a merciful God. He will not fail you, neither destroy you, nor forget the covenant of your fathers, which he swore to them. For ask now the days that are past, which were before you, since the day that God created man on the earth, and from the one end of the sky to the other, where there has been anything as this great thing is, has been heard like it. Did the people ever hear the voice of God speaking out in the middle of the fire, as you have heard, and live? Or has God tried to go and take a nation for himself, from one another nation? by trials, by signs, by wonders, by war, by a mighty hand, by an outstretched arm, and by great terrors, according to all that Yahweh your God did for you in Egypt before your eyes. We are shown to you, that you may know that Yahweh is your God. There is no one else besides them. Out of the heaven he made you to hear his voice, that he may instruct you. On earth he made you to see his great fire, and you heard his words out of the middle of the fire, because he loved your fathers. Therefore he chose their offspring after them, and brought you out with his presence, with his great power out of Egypt, to drive out nations from before you, greater and mightier than you, to bring you in, to give you their land for an inheritance as it is today. Know therefore today, and take it to heart, that Yahweh himself is God in heaven above, and on the earth beneath. There is no one else. You shall keep his laws and his commandments, which I command you today, so that it may go well with you, and with your children after you, and that you may prolong your days in the land which Yahweh your God gives you forever. Now Moses set apart three cities, beyond the Jordan toward the sunrise, that the killer might flee there, who kills his neighbour accidentally, and then entate him in time past, and that fleeing to one of these cities he may live. Bezir in the wilderness, in the plain country, for the Reubenites, and Ramoth in Gilead, for the Gadites, and Golan in Bashan, for the Mashanites. This is the law, which I always set before the children of Israel, these are the testimonies and the laws and the practices which Moses spoke to the children of Israel when they came out of Egypt beyond the Jordan in the valley over against Beth Peor in the land of Shion, king of the Amorites, who lived at Isbon, whom Moses and the children of Israel struck when they came out of Egypt. They took his land in possession and the land of Og, king of Bashan, the two kings of the Amorites, who were beyond the Jordan toward the sunrise, from Ara, which is on the edge of the valley of the Arnon, even to Mount Sion, also called Hermon, and on the Arabah, beyond the Jordan eastward, even to the sea of the Arabah, under the slopes of Peshgar. (laughs) 